YouTube, Instagram. So this is going to be the first vlog on this channel. And what I want to make it about is I want to start trying getting into flipping. Um, I've been a little nervous and a little hesitant to get into it because mostly because I feel like I'm new at it and I'm not going to be good at it at first, but hey, everyone starts new at things. I've watched, um, a lot of people are talking about flipping nowadays, specifically Gary V. I follow, he's got his trash talk show where he's always talking about going, uh, to garage sales, buying things and selling them for a profit. Um, so today I want to try it myself. It's the winter time here in New York, so there's really no garage sales going on, but what I'm going to try is going to thrift stores. There's a ton of thrift stores um, where I live, and we're also going to try uh, maybe going to like a dollar store or something and seeing what we can get and sell on eBay for a profit. Um, I think I'm going to start with eBay. I've been already watching a lot of YouTube videos, trying to learn about it, and I've been seeing a lot of people who do Amazon FBA, and I don't really want to get into that yet, only because I feel like it's going to be more difficult to sign up for than eBay. Um, so I'm thinking whatever we get, I'm going to try flipping on eBay. So before we get into it, I'm watching YouTube right now, watching a bunch of videos on how to flip, and trying to get some advice on you know, what are the top things to buy, um, you know, to learn a little bit about it so I don't end up wasting money on stuff that I can't sell. I also wanted to point out before we go out today that I do already have a um, shipping scale. I think I bought it for like $18 on Amazon and um, this is going to be good. It's going to be helpful because it's going to make things a whole lot easier to ship out and I also have a uh, label printer. This is the Rolo uh, label printer. It's about 160 bucks. Um, I'll leave a link for it down in the description, but you could probably also just use like a regular printer to print out your labels. You don't need this fancy smancy label printer. I bought this label printer because I own a clothing brand. See, here's my inventory. I own a clothing brand and um, I wanted to make this investment because I thought it would be a good investment at the time. And the good thing actually about this printer is that it's thermal so that it doesn't use ink. So you don't have to buy ink for it. So while it is 160 bucks, it's a little pricey. Um, I find that not having to buy ink for it makes it worth it. Over here, I also have um, mailers, some tissue paper and some packaging supplies. That might also be helpful to get. I also bought all of this on Amazon and I already have all of this because I have a clothing brand. Hey, we are at the first thrift store right now. Um, I watched a ton of YouTube videos this morning, got some pretty good tips on what to look for and what to buy with my friend Charlotte right now. Hi. And uh, yeah, we're gonna go in, see what we can get and um, see how it works out. So we just found a Jemco Barber uh, kit or whatever. I believe it's antique, not exactly sure, but we found one that looks exactly like it that is antique. Um, this one is $3.99. We just heard an announcement that it is 50% off and we found it for about 40 bucks, I believe. Yeah. So we're gonna try that out. We also found, can you pick that up please? Sure. This pharmacy jar. Um, what, what was that again? It was three ninety nine. Is two. I think it was like three ninety nine, but it's really like a dollar because it's fifty percent off. Oh, the 4 sticker is four ninety nine, but it's actually uh fifty percent off, so two fifty. Yeah. And I believe we saw it for um about forty bucks, so I'm gonna try that out as well. And we also found these mugs, which doesn't have a very good markup. I'm not exactly sure if we're gonna get them yet. Donuts. But they're like. A uh, dollar fifty, and they're going for like seven to thirteen dollars. Been a Clifford dog. We're gonna check out this. Okay, 
Found a Curious George with a book. Definitely gonna check the price on this. This definitely might be worth something. Stuffed animals I think would be good because they're pretty lightweight. Like they probably wouldn't cost a whole lot to ship. You think the Disney ones would be good? Chuck E. Cheese. I don't know. What did you get? A watermelon? I was thinking about getting it for Jackie. Uh, oh, because she loves watermelons. Yeah. Gonna check out the price of this clock. I mean, not how much it sells for. Is there like a model it's number? Or it's just called the regulator? The built right. That looks freaking cool. That's definitely antique. When is that? That definitely looks antique, right? Yeah, we're talking 16. It's 1895. Are the blue tickets on sale today? You said? I forgot if you said blue. I think blue. I see blue on the sign, but so it's really eighteen ninety nine divided by two because it's fifty percent off. It's fifty percent off for us. You want to see if you can find how much it is? Yeah, we can clean all this up too. You know how to clean rust? Yeah, I've done bikes. It's the same material. It's even got the. If I had a baby, I would probably buy this just to be like a gangster and like, I don't know, carry my kid around in this thing. So we are trying to figure out if we should buy this vintage stroller here. Not really too sure yet. It's uh, it's big. It definitely needs to be restored. Um, it is a built right stroller. It's from like, I don't even know, but this thing definitely has to be restored, I think, to sell it. I don't know. And I don't know if I have the place to store it, but. So we're checking out the electronics. Um, from what I've learned, calculators and remotes could actually do pretty good. Um, I've actually seen a couple of other people selling used phones um, at thrift stores. Not. <laughs> nice. We found this, um, where that weird travel iron go? This travel iron from like 1950, which actually looks really cool. I kind of want to buy it for myself because it looks like a quality, actual good iron. Or these like VR headsets. So we found some pretty good stuff so far. Stuffed animals, bunch of other things, mugs. Definitely not gonna get it all, but trying to figure out what to get. Oh, those look like your sneakers. Yeah, these look like mine. These are the Converse ones. Nice. Converse are good to customize too, but I'd probably want to get like the white ones. They're not Converse. <laughs> Connemore. Fake Converse. So right now looking for a pair of leather shoes to practice doing painting on because I'm going to get into customizing uh, shoes. We're going to be um, coming up with some designs and customizing. So looking for a pair of shoes, specifically probably like Nikes or Adidas, something basic white to practice on. Don't really see anything so far. So we got $30 worth of stuff. All this stuff in here is $30. And plus, we're going to take that carriage we found before. Yeah. Um, so yeah, all these things I've looked up. And for the most part, I think we can make some pretty good money off of selling them on eBay. So this is going to be the first time we're trying this out. If not, we wasted 30 bucks, but I think it's going to be good. So we got some good stuff. Now comes the hard part, actually trying to sell this stuff on eBay. Um, but we're gonna try that out. I bought a whole bunch of stuff for $30. A lot of it seemed to be selling for double or triple on eBay. So hopefully we have some luck and people want to buy it. And yeah, I'm excited. This was actually fun. Like, I didn't think it was going to be this much fun. So now I see what people like Gary Vee are talking about when they say they love doing this. It's actually a lot of fun, right? Yeah, I had a lot of fun. <laughs> Right now I am on eBay and so far my listings have been up since Sunday and it is now uh, Thursday. So my listings have been up for about four days now and um, I'm looking through 
the listings, they're not getting a whole lot of views. Um, like the Curious George only got six views. Uh, uh, listings on eBay at the moment. I might have these priced a little bit too high. Like this Curious George, I saw others selling it for about this price, but I really only paid a um, dollar fifty for it, so I should probably lower that price. Another thing I'm also going to try out is um, adding better product descriptions. I when I listed all of these items, I really just listed them quickly and I kind of just went with the product descriptions that, um, that eBay, uh, automatically does. So I think I can lower the price on some of these things too. Like I was thinking high margins, like, let me make some money, but really what I should be doing is just trying to flip these things and, um, and make like maybe just like double my money. Like this Clifford Dog, for example, I saw others selling it for 12, but I only paid $2.99 for it. So maybe I should just throw it up there for $6 and call it a day and see if these things will sell a little bit faster because they're not getting a lot of views. No one's watching it. No one bid on it yet. Um, so these things got a lot more views, more watchers. Um, I got an offer for five bucks for this. Um, so I might hold off, but I might just take the offer for five bucks. This, uh, pharmacy jar, I paid two fifty four. So if I sold it for five, that'd be doubling my money. And, um, I just got to double check that I get the proper shipping because I don't want to get killed with shipping. I could end up losing money if I get killed with shipping. Um, and that's a not so easy item to ship. It has to have bubble wrap. It has to, you know, all that stuff. So yeah, just kind of getting a sense for what sells, what doesn't sell. Um, I'm getting used to it. So this is my first run at it. I wanted to make this vlog because I haven't really seen anybody else sharing uh, the secrets. Not the secrets. I'm tired, sorry. Sharing the vlog of them um, doing retail arbitrage from the beginning with no experience. Um, so I would like to share my experience. And yeah, so that's it for this vlog. Um, I'll do a future video on if any of these items actually sold or not. And, um, yeah, so I'll do a few, uh, follow up video on that. And yeah, I'm hoping that this could possibly be like a little side thing I do on the weekend every once in a while, just to make some extra money would be nice. And, um, I know some people take it more seriously and do it for a living, but I'm just looking to do it to make like a little bit of extra money here and there. Um, yeah, so that's it for this video. Drop a like down um, if you're watching on YouTube. Leave a comment. Let me know if you've done retail arbitrage or not. And uh, subscribe. And I will see you next time.